Imagine yourself stranded in a city during a power outage. Stores are closed, ATMs don't work, and you're getting hungry. What do you do? In such scenarios, the urban landscape around you holds the key to survival. Welcome to the fascinating world of urban foraging, a skill that transforms concrete jungles into a bounty of edible resources. Urban foraging is the practice of identifying, gathering, and utilizing plants and other resources available in city environments. It's like having a supermarket at your doorstep only that it's nature's supermarket and it's open 24-7. But why is urban foraging important for survival? Well, it's simple. In times of crisis, depending on traditional food supply chains, can be risky. They can break down, leaving city dwellers stranded and hungry. Urban foraging, on the other hand, taps into the city's unexplored resources, providing a sustainable and reliable food source. It's about knowing how to survive where you are with what you have. Now, urban foraging does come with its unique set of challenges. City environments are not pristine wilderness. They're riddled with pollutants, pesticides, and other contaminants that can make foraging tricky. But don't fret. With the right knowledge and a keen eye, you can navigate these challenges and harvest the city's hidden bounty safely. The benefits of urban foraging extend beyond survival. It promotes a deeper connection with the environment, encouraging us to see the city in a new light. It's about understanding that nature isn't just confined to remote forests or national parks. It's all around us, even in the heart of the concrete jungle. In this episode, we'll delve into the art of urban foraging, exploring how to identify edible plants, forage responsibly, and make the most of your urban harvest. So buckle up and get ready to see the city like you've never seen it before. With the right knowledge and skills, the urban landscape can turn into your personal supermarket. Now it's not about just picking up anything that's green and leafy. Identifying edible plants in an urban environment is a skill that requires a keen eye and a good dose of caution. It's crucial to know what you're looking for to avoid the risk of consuming harmful plants or those tainted by urban pollutants. As we walk the city streets, we often overlook the bounty that nature provides, even in the most concrete of jungles. Dandelions, plantains, and clovers, for example, are common plants that can be found in almost every city around the globe. These plants are edible, nutritious, and surprisingly versatile. Let's start with the humble dandelion. This plant is easily identifiable by its bright yellow flowers and jagged leaves. Every part of the dandelion is edible, from the roots to the flowers. It's a great source of vitamins A, C, and K, and it can be used in salads, teas, or even as a coffee substitute when the roots are roasted. Next up is the plantain. Not to be confused with the banana-like fruit, this plant can be recognized by its broad, oval-shaped leaves and tall seed stalks. Its leaves can be eaten raw or cooked, and it's known for its soothing properties when applied topically on minor cuts or insect bites. Lastly, we have the clover. This plant is most commonly identified by its three-leaf structure. It's a good source of protein and both the leaves and flowers can be consumed. They can be eaten raw in salads or boiled in soups. While these plants are generally safe to consume, it's essential to consider the environment where they grow. Avoid plants growing near roadsides or in areas that may be exposed to pollutants or pesticides. Always wash your plants thoroughly before eating. Remember, when in doubt, leave it out. Safety should always be your top priority. It's better to miss out on a potential meal than to risk your health. As you gain experience and knowledge, you'll become more confident in identifying and harvesting edible plants in your urban surroundings. Just because a plant is edible doesn't mean you can just take it. Urban foraging, while an exciting survival skill, is not a free-for-all. It's essential to consider the ethics and legality of foraging. Picture this. You're strolling through your local park and spot a cluster of wild berries. Before you start picking, pause and ask yourself, is this legal? Is it ethical? In most urban areas, foraging on public land is permissible, but private property is off-limits, without express permission. Additionally, it's crucial to forage sustainably. Don't strip a plant bare or uproot it. Leave enough for wildlife and other foragers. Remember, urban foraging is not just about finding free food. It's about coexisting with nature in a respectful and sustainable way. It's about understanding our environment and learning to use its resources wisely. Foraging is not just about survival, but also about respect for nature and our fellow humans. So you know what to look for and what's safe to eat. Now where do you find these edible plants? Well, the urban landscape is a treasure trove of foraging opportunities if you know where to look. The best spots are often right under our noses. Public parks, for instance, are a great starting point. 
They're usually rich in plant diversity, and you'd be surprised by the number of edible species you can find there. From dandelions to wild garlic, these green spaces can provide a bounty of delicious and nutritious food. Community gardens are another excellent resource. These shared spaces are often home to a variety of edible plants, and foraging there can also be a great way to connect with your local community. Just remember to ask permission first and only take what you need. Other potential foraging spots include roadside verges, riverbanks, and even derelict land. These areas often harbor a wealth of wild edibles. But remember, safety first. Always avoid areas that might be contaminated with pollutants. The city's bounty isn't just limited to the ground though. Look up and you might find nut trees, fruit trees, or even vines draped over walls and fences. These can provide a rich harvest, especially in the late summer and autumn months. And speaking of seasons, the time of year plays a crucial role in what you can forage. In spring, look out for young, tender greens and early flowers. Come summer, berries and fruits start to ripen. Autumn brings a wealth of nuts and fungi, while winter offers roots and certain hardy greens. Developing a year-round foraging calendar can help you take full advantage of the changing seasons and ensure you always have something to look forward to. With a keen eye and a bit of practice, you'll start seeing food everywhere. It's all about changing your perspective. Once you start looking, the urban jungle transforms into a veritable feast, ripe for the picking. So get out there, explore, and start harvesting the city's hidden bounty. You've picked your bounty, now what? This is where the magic happens, where you turn your urban harvest into delicious, nutritious meals that can be enjoyed right away or preserved for future use. The first step is cleaning your foraged goods. Rinse the plants thoroughly, removing any dirt, insects, or other unwanted extras. Remember, urban environments can be dirty places, so this step is crucial for your health and safety. Next comes the cooking part. Many edible plants found in the city can be enjoyed raw, but others need a little heat to unlock their full potential. Saute your leafy greens in a bit of oil with some garlic and spices or simmer roots and tubers until they're tender. You'll be amazed at the flavors you can draw out of these humble ingredients. However, keep in mind that not all urban foraged food should be consumed immediately. Some of it can be dried, canned, or otherwise preserved for later use. This is especially important in survival situations when food supplies may be unpredictable. Drying is a simple, effective method of preservation. Spread out your foraged goods on a clean surface in a warm, dry, well-ventilated area. Once they're fully dried, store them in a cool, dark place in airtight containers. Now let's talk about incorporating these urban foraged foods into your diet. They can add a unique touch to your meals, providing flavor, nutrition, and a sense of satisfaction that only comes from eating something you've gathered yourself. Try tossing some foraged greens into your salads, use berries to make a tangy sauce for your meats, or brew a comforting tea from dried flowers or herbs. Remember, the key is creativity. Don't be afraid to experiment with different flavors and cooking techniques. After all, urban foraging isn't just about survival. It's about discovering new tastes, developing new skills, and experiencing the joy of connecting with nature, even in the heart of the city. With these techniques, not only can you survive, but you can also enjoy a variety of flavors even in the most challenging situations. We've covered quite a bit today. From the importance of urban foraging and survival strategies identifying edible plants safely, to the ethics of foraging responsibly and sustainably. We've also delved into maximizing your urban harvest by finding the best spots in the city and the importance of seasonal foraging. Finally, we've shared some basic techniques for preparing and preserving your hard-earned harvest. Now, it's your turn. We'd love to hear about your own experiences or tips about urban foraging. Have you found a hidden bounty in your city's landscape? What edible plants have you discovered in your urban jungle? How do you incorporate your foraged food into your diet? Your shared experiences not only enrich our community but also help others on their journey to becoming proficient urban foragers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful episodes in this series. Until next time, happy foraging!